What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We're dealing with another Three Floyds beer, guys. Here we go again. Another new brew from them in the rotation. Not sure how long this one's been around, guys, uh, but I certainly haven't heard of it. This is the Agromaster uh, Coffee Ale that was bottled on 11 9 21 and time of recording it's november 27th guys so uh let me see anything on the side mm, okay as a coffee and dark ale collide in the battlefield of flavor a new hero emerges victorious combining a malty scottish style ale with hand selected roast coffee the agro master is your champion of full-bodied beers destined for greatness and enjoyment this is 7.5 percent abv guys and i think it's about 11.99 for a six pack so really good value down from munster indiana in northern michigan distribution we love that so scottish ale has to be the right time of year. I have to be in the right mood. I love coffee all the time uh, in stouts. Uh, have never seen it with a Scottish ale. This is going to be interesting, guys. Let's see. I'm in the mood for this today, so let's see. Pouring kind of that lighter caramel tan color. Uh, a little bit of brownish amber in there as well, guys. And I'm pouring it in this little tiny whiskey glass. Um, off brownish, whitish head. Um, looks a little bit muddy, looks, yeah, it looks very muddy, honestly, a brown, muddy, caramel tinge to it, guys. Uh, pretty good carbonation, nothing crazy. Uh, again, that ni nice little brownish tan head that's, uh, on the bright, on the lighter side, not that dark, guys, nothing complex about it. Uh, yeah, and I, again, terrible lighting, orangey, terrible lighting, I'm sorry, this is what I got right now, so let's go to Naroma. Yeah, it's coffee. It's very coffee forward. There's espresso notes. There's dry roasted um, dusting of coffee in here, like literally just fi finely ground up uh, coffee beans. Slight malty caramel character, nothing crazy. I'd say the coffee sticks out immensely. Maybe a, a little earthy, soily, kind of peaty um, nose underneath all that coffee, guys. Smells very nice. I, I I like coffee. This smells really good. I'm going in, guys. It is the Agromaster. Let's see what we got. Super dry, man. Super dry, man. The last porter I had from them was the Christmas porter. It was unbelievably dry and, and hoppy. This still has a slight bit of hot forward bitterness on the back end uh, but it's like that peaty soily um earthy bitterness on the back end that finishes the bureau but it's undeniably dry guys which i do like and the the coffee roast comes out very strongly on the front and towards the middle You don't get the maltiness until the back end. So the slight Scottish uh, style comes out on the back end, which is something I have not seen before, guys. That is a great marriage of styles going on between like a almost like a, uh, a coffee porter and a Scottish ale kind of united together. That is a great marriage of flavors going on that... It undeniably works. It undeniably works. I love the dry roastiness. I love the dry caramel toffee malty back end. That's very dry and, and easy going, guys. 7.5. This is very, very tasty. It's so easy in the middle. Like There's a slight like watery uh, um, kind of layer through the middle that just transitions to that slight Scottish ale, guys. Really, the coffee, robust on the front end, um, but so clean and easy. I've never seen a beer transition like this between coffee to Scottish ale. Um, and then, again, put together like this, this is a very, very well done idea that has been executed very well in the glass and the bottle. That is very nice. Too easy. Too easy. I almost look for. I'm, I'm almost looking for another layer. Like I wish there was like a deeper depth um, to this beer, or even like a slight malty forwardness that came out more than it does on the back end, guys. The maltiness is very low. It's not. It's not a typical Scottish ale. Like there's no way I would think that. Um, but again, coffee, nice balance with the malty Scottish peaty thing. Um, 
solid smoothness, solid slight bitterness on the back end. I like this beer. I'm going to go, I, yeah, I like this beer. I, I'm going to go 425 out of 5. I just, I think it's a great idea that transpired and came into fruition in this fashion, guys. Very, very good marriage of flavors. Um, yeah, I'm not going to keep talking. 425 out of 5. I'm Dan. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. This has been the Agro Master from Three Floyds. Over and out. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.